Hi everyone, my name is Darsh Kithani and today we're going to be covering how to monitor WhatsApp messages, threads, and shared photos all through the X and Spy service. So without any further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and go to cp.xnspy.com. Now that you're here, please type in your credentials and move forward to dashboard. Alright, so now that we are on the dashboard, we can just go on the left hand side on the control panel on the menu side and click on the messenger tab. Now if you go a little bit lower, you can find all your different apps and web apps that are all connected, including WhatsApp. So you're just going to click WhatsApp over there and it's going to open up all your chats that are monitored your device have uploaded on to XN Spy. Now what you're looking at right now is conversation view and by clicking on a contact, you can view the entire WhatsApp conversation between the contact and your target person. Also note that every WhatsApp that message will be uploaded along with the relevant contact date and timestamp. Also, what you can do is switch between list and conversation view as per your convenience. It's just a small little button on the top right hand side. Now to access WhatsApp photos, click on the photos tab on the left hand side and wait for all the photos to load. Now that they've loaded, click on the search icon on top to filter through and find the WhatsApp photos per the date and time section that you want and just click on WhatsApp and then click the search button and they're all there right in front of you. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. I really do hope that you guys took something away from it. If you guys have any questions about the tutorial or how to actually go about doing this yourselves, please make sure to drop it in the comment section down below and we'll have someone reply back to you as soon as we can. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and that's about it. Hope you enjoyed once again and I'll see you in the next tutorial.